Alright, hi guys. So, we just viewed the Hamlet cutscene. Now we're delivering the notebook to Duncan. He's gonna tell us about it. And I decided, as far as spoilers go, that they're gonna be here. So, I mean, I'll probably skip over the mini shows anyway. But the spoilers are gonna be here. If you want to avoid them, I suggest you don't watch these particular episodes regarding G13. But, uh,. Just talked to Duncan, and I thought we got the Avon feather, but I don't see it in the inventory anymore. Oh, because you have to complete it. Silly me. So complete the quest and get the Avon feather. And that will allow you to go to Avon, where G13 mostly takes place. <clears throat> I believe I just got another quest. And I just did this. Coming to Aid Ceremony. Got some nice flowers. That's your being 20, I believe. Character's age 22 right now. Uh, I really need to rebirth, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. So I won't. Uh, now let's see. Let's go to Avon. And I will show you where G13 mostly takes place. This right here is Avon. And... The Globe Theater, that was just on the screen there, will be where the theater missions are carried out, which are basically acts in the play, which you'll probably see here in a little bit. Globe Theater, good theater, I guess. Avon's kind of split into a nice cheery side and a not so nice side. But now we're going to talk to Marlo. And he is. He is the main guy here in Avon for G13. He's telling us about Shakespeare and why he was imprisoned in Avon. Learn all that stuff. But we just got this nice helmet. And that's because we're going to play the place as a guard. So we're going to go here. We have this paper right here, which is basically the a dungeon pass for the theater over here. To go into the theater mission. This is for Act 1, Scene 1 in Hamlet. And then we're gonna basically play the role as a soldier. Do 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 do. Loading. There we go. So, like I said, cutscenes. Probably skip this, but if not, I'll keep talking anyway. This is. About the soldiers, now you're gonna see the ghost of Hamlet's father. Like I said, spoilers, deal with it. JK, okay. Here we are. So, now we're playing the guard that's gonna relieve this guard of his post. He has a nice spotlight on him. Talk to him, and he told us he saw a ghost, and then we're done. Well, that was certainly easy. 1,000 experience, not bad. Got level 6 from that. Complete the quest. Almost got another level up. Then you're going to need to wait around for the next quest. But I believe it's talk to Marlow anyway. So we're going to go walk over there in preparation of him. Showing us where to go. Telling us what to do. That whole thing. Now, if you see here, this is the sort of Avon. Is a very nice weapon, very good as far as damage and whatnot. Uh, you have to have these special gloves to pick it though, because obviously on fire when her hands are did it. But we got the quest: hunt down five brown foxes. I somewhat doubt that's the one we're looking for. But anyway, and the Avon feather basically teleports between Avon and whatever place you were before. So, you can do that, but that's a five minute cooldown time. Which kind of makes you have to wait. I mean, you could continent warp if you just want to get out of here, but. There you go, next quest. See if I can do this one. Do two quests in one. Two quests in one, let's play. See if we can do it. Scene two. Let's go, go, go. 
Now I probably really should train this character's skills up. Um, I might film that just for grins and giggles. And you guys can watch me train random skills. But I probably won't put it as a Let's Play episode. So don't worry about that. I mean, of course, if I fight during the... If I fight during the Let's Play, then I could possibly train skills. I won't be grinding any skills. I believe you can skip this cutscene, and you can watch it when you play it yourself. Now we need to deliver this box by fighting through hordes of monsters, of course. Elis Neorat. How do you say it? Oh, there we go. Now I believe this character is still low level. Yeah, I'm total level 6. Which means I'm going to be doing basic everything. So, I am going to basically do really well. Well, no. Basic's really easy, basically, though. So, I'm just going to kill these rats. Even though I'm only level 6, I'm sh pretty sure that basic would get harder, though. Um, yeah, and the thing about theater missions is if you kill something with a spotlight, you get the spotlight. It gives you better stats. You can see all my stats here, now yellow. Because they gave me 50 of every stat, which is really good. I mean, strength. That's a decent amount of extra damage right there. I mean, training the whole entire carpentry skill only gives you, like, 50 additional strength. More like 42, or something like that. Skip this cutscene. You can watch it when you play through it yourself. I'm not really attempting to make a video log of all the cutscenes. Alright, so as far as that, that was pretty easy. Let's go to the quest, and let's complete it. Level 8 now. Okay, 3 levels since I started, and it's only been 7 minutes. That's pretty good. Uh, and I really... I don't know, I guess we could try for 3. I think we have to go back to Turconnell, though. For the next quest. Anything new to talk about? Well, G14 just came out. That's a little bit new. And that you got lances, new weapon, fun in my opinion. And I also got uh, homesteads right here, this button right here. Uh, once you're total level 10, you get a homestead ticket to make your homestead. I obviously am not that level quite yet, so I can't do that. But we're gonna wait around for the next quest. Oh wait, is that it right there? Nope, that is a talk to Ronald quest. What do we have to use? Talk to Ronald, gain a wooden blade. That's nice. We have to hunt five brown foxes, which gives us Popo shirt and pants. That's cool. I got this armor though, so I don't think I really need Popo shirt and pants. Bingo events. Uh, that's already passed. Oh, all they have to do is talk to him. Maybe I can still cash in on that and get it free. 11k experience. There's a quest. Shakespeare's quest. Oh, no. Five white spiders. More beginner's quests. Wow, this is a really lame let's play so far. Wait, up oh, there it is. Here we go. Now we're talking to Marlowe. I guess a lot of, like, let's plays actually go through the storyline, huh? Well, I guess I kind of failed at that. This really isn't a Let's Play for Generation 13. I think I should maybe just... Well, hmm. Think good thing to think about. See if I can do this quest in a minute. Not even. But Let's Plays usually do go through the storyline. I guess it's too late to do that for this part of Generation 13, but I guess I'll keep going. Start doing it from now on. So basically... Um, Hamlet's father died, and now his ghost is haunting the castle, and Hamlet is sad about that, but his uncle took the throne and married his mother. And it turns out, oh wait, we're not quite there yet, huh? Okay, well now, Laertes is talking to Ophelia about Hamlet, I believe, and... 
possibly other things. Can't quite remember. Well, there's me. Right there. And there's Ophelia's father. And now, Laertes is going away, so we're going to help escort him to wherever he needs to go. This is really going to take more time in the Let's Play, huh? I should cut out the waiting. And then... I am really at a loss right now. Anyway, but the words are really fast. So, I mean, I could try to read them out loud. But that would be fairly difficult. Probably try to do that in future acts. But this one is kind of just the first generation 13. You're not missing much. I mean, you can just read it yourself when you play through it. The main thing we're wa I wanted to show you is the dungeon and stuff. See what you're... Well, the fighting and whatnot. See what you're up against. Now, at this part, Laertes is super pro. So even though these are boss to me, Laertes will knock him out in one hit like he just did. Let's see what a magnum shot will do. Oh half his health. Huh? Oh man, where'd that guy come from? A noob archery skills. Why am I even using a bow? I don't know. Switch, switch. Okay, there we go. Sword. And Laertes comes to save the day. Look at that. One hit. Oh, now this guy. The okay, thing about snow trolls is they Argo really fast. And especially if you attack one, the others are quick to Argo back. So. He's using smash. I'm just going to run and hit him. So they're actually really tricky to deal with. But, thankfully, Laertes is here to help you out. I'm in basic, and I have this armor, so... Oh my, it's a Grim Reaper. And I just walk through the fence. Man, those cutscene glitches are pretty common, actually. I believe if you're clicking at all, you'll do it. But, the Grim Reaper summoned this snow troll in order to stop our progress, because... Shakespeare's play is supposedly evil, and we are acting it out. So, the Grim Reaper wants to stop us, because the Grim Reaper is a servant of the... Oh my, argue me. The servant of the godish people that are in Mabinagi. Oh, I just windmilled him. Go, Laertes. Me and Laertes can take down this giant snow troll. He would have passive defense on my hit. Yeah, if you want, Laertes can basically take this guy out for you, but I am not in the mood to be served my enemies on a platter right now. Which is somewhat surprising. There we go, Laertes. He just did 100... 1,500 damage. I was doing, what, 100? Yeah, Laertes outclasses you. Unless you're really good. If you're watching this Let's Play, chances are you're not Laertes levels yet. So he's saying thanks. We're friends, we're buddies, we're pals, amigos. Because I helped him defeat the monsters. Even though he did probably 90% of the work. He definitely did 99% of the damage, that's for sure. <coughs> but I mean, I killed a snow troll or two. Uses. Wow, 14 minutes. That is really close to the cap. So I'm going to quit right now and think about how to better do Generation 13 on Let's Play. Alright, so see you guys later.